talk to us a little bit about Steve Smith. Not quite sure what the situation with that uh, elbow injury is. Mm. How much will he be available? How much not? But if he does play high-profile tournament with all of what has happened with mm. him off late, um, working with you, that's going to be an interesting dynamic as well. So how are you looking forward to that? Yeah, well, hopefully Steve Smith, you know, everyone's waiting to see what happens with the elbow. And I mm. suppose we will be reacting to how he comes up with his elbow. Uh, we're hoping from an Australian point of view and a Royals point of view that he's fine and he's able to play because, mm. you know, he's up there with the best players in the world and he's proven that. So if he's fit and raring to go, uh, he'll be hungry with a point to prove. Um, and, he'll be, and he'll want to play. You know, he'll want to get some games in before the World Cup, which is an advantage for the Royals. Um, so, yeah, we're just waiting like everybody else to see how he goes and hopefully he'll be okay. Right, final couple of thoughts. Um, I wanted, Shane, to obviously ask you about uh, this ban ending now with Steve Smith and yep. Dave Warner. Um, they'll be available for selection. After all that has happened with Australian cricket in the last year or so, do you believe the Australian public in general are ready to embrace these guys back? How do you think it'll go? And uh, what's your view? Straight back in or uh, wait? Well, they have to get back in their class. You know, mm. David Warner is one of the best opening batsmen in the world. Steve Smith... I think probably up there with Virat Kohli and in Test cricket, Smith, Kohli, probably AB de Villiers are the three best batsmen in the world. I'd say probably Virat one in Test cricket. Smith is you know he's just a shade behind Virat Kohli in yes. Test cricket. Um, and even though he bats like a tail ender, <laughs> he scores amazing amounts of runs and the way he does it. So he's hard to get out. So Smith and Warner are pure class. So they walk straight back in. Uh, the Australian public. And the worldwide public, I think, will give them a hard time. And the Australian side need to earn the respect back of the cricketing community around the world by their actions and the way they play the game. Um, but I think, in a way, that's why Australia got a bit of an edge in the World Cup, because Smith and Warner will be hungry. They will be so determined to play well, and they'll realise how much they've missed the game. So I, that's why I think Australia... Don't, don't write off Australia at the World Cup. I think they're going to be a big chance. and. You know, I'm looking forward to Smith and Warner playing.